As day two of the picketing by members of the National Food Suppliers Association. And uh, when they said they're going to spend the night here on day one, I thought it was just a word of mouth, but they didn't go against their words. They actually slept in the open. They were exposed to mosquito bites and insects, just name them. And this is the forecourt of the National Food Buffer Store Company. And this is where they slept the entire night. And one woman, I'm told, it's not feeling well. She was complaining of feverishness this morning and she's been taken to the 37 military hospital. And this woman right here is also not well. And so she's been put to bed uh, just to, you know, take control of her temperature among others. So the situation is very emotional at the moment. <laughs> Yes, we slept here last night. We have not even taken our bath. The arrears have been long overdue, so the picketing is the only option. The association has a membership of 300 people, and those that are picketing are close to 40. But their concerns are a true reflection of what the others are going through. Some are coming all the way from Bogatanga. Why? Sunyai and who? Yeah, the Mecca, every 40 billion. I am owed more than 4 million cities. We cannot even stay at home because creditors are pursuing us. We can't even pay calls. Life is very unbearable for us. The only thing that will make us live here is when we get paid. We will continue sleeping here until we get our monies. There's actually work ongoing in the office, but people in here are more like junior staff and they don't have the locals to engage their suppliers. And I spoke to the PRO of the Buffer Stock Company, J.K. Arthur, who made me aware that they are having a training in Kumasi with the World Food Program. And so if that is anything to go by, hopefully uh, the CEO would engage suppliers either on Friday or Monday. The song on all their lips is, pay us our monies. Until that is effected, they're going to spend the entire night here. George Quinnin, TV3 News, Accra.